I'm Michelle Pena. Hi. I'm Sean Saria. And this is our calculator <coughs> app in Java. So what kind of app is it? Basically, it's a calculator application used in, as of now in a Java compiler. Uh, it's not really a Java application yet, but it'll get there. Oh. The users for this app, like plan to use this app, are students in math classes or physics, because physics requires a lot of math, uh, teachers, people in college with math degrees, uh, calculus students, so on and so forth. So when we were doing our research to see if there are any other apps out there like it, we encountered that there weren't really any Java Piece, uh, Java apps out there that calculate math like what ours does. I mean, the only thing we got close to was finding code, not even an app, like just code, that shows you how to calculate basic math functions. Other than that, we didn't see anything out there, so. So this is a screenshot from the app, uh, the app's output. Uh, this is one of the three um, operations in the calculator. So this was the when you enter 1, it gives you the derivative and limit calculator of the app. And it shows these window input boxes that uh, require the user to type in numbers according to the <coughs> numbers in the equation and the power of each variable. So what does it do? So basically, this has three operations, math operations, like multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting, um, derivatives and limits, which are, derivatives are slopes of, this is the slope, slope of, of the a slope line. of a curve at a certain point, so that like, it's, it's where, it creates yeah, it creates a tangent line at one point only on the curve. Yeah, if you have it a, could be more than one point, but it tends to only be one point. If you have a curve, if you have a function, and you take an arbitrary point, and you draw a line tangent to that curve yes. at that point, the derivative is the slope of that, that line. line. Exactly. That touches it once. Okay. Which is very important when you're trying to calculate the rates of change rates of, of change. a function. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So derivatives are basically used in calculus. Um, limits as well in pre-calculus and calculus. Um, so it calculates those two things. And then it calculates uh, trigonomic functions such as sine, cosine, tangent, as well as the hypotenuse of triangle. And, and so what you're saying is, based on the research you did, you were not able to find a Java, standalone Java application that does all of these things at the same time. Yeah, that's, okay. we're going to talk about it, that in the next slide. Okay. And it does the limit and first derivative using 10 terms, 5 terms in the numerator and 5 in the denominator if there is a denominator needed. So the other apps out there, stated before, there weren't many. What, even compared to like calculators that even aren't on the computer, like the, TI, the TIs, some of them, they don't even calculate derivatives. They don't. They give you a derivative at a point. They don't give you the function, like the equation of a derivative of like of an equation of another equation. They don't. They don't like help you with limits. Like if you ask for the limit at a certain point, they won't. They don't tend to do that. And trigonometry wise, they they calculate the hand calculators do, but computers on computers. We don't, you don't see many with uh, Java applications that do trigonometry. So the source code is right here. So this is the, the code of the whole application. And it is very long. It is about, it is 409 lines of code. So the first, well first we have a, um, uh, like a menu for the user to follow. So it says welcome to the ultimate calculator, press one for the derivative and limit code, press two for the trigonomic calculator, and three for basic math operations. 
So if the user inputs 1, it runs the derivative and limit code, which is actually the most lengthy part of the code. So it, it says basically how to use it. Like it doesn't use logs or um, exponential derivatives or equations. For now. For now. We're going to change that eventually. Now, where is the code for the second part of your application? Okay, the second part. Oh, this is all asking for coefficients. And, yeah. We'll explain that after. Yeah, we'll go, we'll back. go back up. Keep going. Keep going. I know, I know. That's really long. Okay, so now this is if the user inputs 2. So this is the trigonomic calculator. And it's here to string the uh, variables and then we double them. So then we have them enter four numbers. So this would be a number degree, which would be the degrees they're entering, like 30 degrees or whatever it may be. A number, which would be something in radians perhaps, or just a regular number. Um, uh, two sides of the triangle to find the hypotenuse. And then here we have how we convert it. So we go double sign x, and it's math dot sign math to radians. So it'll convert the the angle to radians, and then here it converts the angle. I mean the radians or regular number two degrees. So the the user has the option of entering the angle if they want to figure out the trig function. They have the option of entering the angle either in degrees or radians? Yep. Okay. See, now that's different. That's different uh, than in a standard scientific calculator where you you're... You have to switch the mode. You, right. You actually have to do it manually. Here, the computer does it for you. Exactly. And then here, if the user enters three, it runs basic math calculations. So, uh, But so far, we only have it for two numbers. So. I was thinking of adding like how many options they want to add together, subtract or multiply or divide or whatever. Or a square root. Yeah. Or raising it to a power. Exactly. Etc. Basic math options. And then it outputs that. Do you want to do the limits? Yeah, okay. Go to that. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So for the derivatives and limits, it's it looks pretty complicated, but I, I believe it's simple. So, um, it's it's just first like giving out like some instructions of how to use the code. Then, the, uh, it starts asking for the terms. So this is gonna be the same for all ten one after all ten terms. So there's no need to repeat. But um, it's gonna we're just creating strings to get like to get the the that we're going to be using to get the coefficients and the powers for the term that we're going to be using in the equation. It just, then it, it'll ask for the power and the term, the power and the coefficient. If they do put in a zero as a coefficient, then then there it just skips that term, meaning that they, the user is going to use one less term in their equation. And so, and if it do, they do put a number that's not zero, then it continues and it asks for the power, gets the power, and then what it does is it, sa it makes these into doubles, saves them as doubles, and then it outputs it outputs them first so that like the user sees as they're going through each each step, it's like showing their progress, what they're typing in, so it'll show like what the first term they typed in, then uh, and then it does a derivative math here, which would be it's doing the power rule, so it's multiplying the coefficient to the power to print out the derivative. Okay, and then it does that for for the next five terms. When it after the fifth term, then it's gonna ask if they want if the equation they use has a denominator and then it'll so it'll if they do they'll continue for the next five terms. If they don't have a denominator, they'll skip that next five terms. And then after that it just it just first it'll input the equation as you would see in like a calculator, any other calculator, and then it does the math here for the limits and the derivatives. So can you show us the output? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so that's how it looks. Now it's asking for the coefficient of the first term. When he types, when the user types it in, power. See now how it, it displays it over here. And every time they type in a term, it's going to keep doing that unless they put zero. If they put zero. It's not going to put. It's not going to output anything. Should you, uh, I don't know, speed it up? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is as x approaches um, the limit. Uh, and, and then it calculates that limit for you? Yeah, it should. Okay. Now, and, uh, this is going to be running a trigonomic. Yeah, trigonometric. You guys can go. Uh, I have a microphone off. Just so go ahead, turn it on. Yeah, I know. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, so now it's entering the sides, not the hypotenuse or triangle. So three, four. So the answer should be five. They're all the cosines. And five. Oh, okay, great. Okay, outstanding. Outstanding presentation. Very good, guys. A any questions?